Now that you've got a basic uh, introduction to type and uh, how it can be edited, created, transformed, the font, color, other things uh, can be changed, we'll go a bit deeper and we'll see how we can edit some more of the paragraph tools and see uh, what some of the path editing abilities of Illustrator enable us, which uh, wouldn't be possible in any other, uh, many other word processing programs. Okay, so I'm going to get some text uh, that I've created in a, um, another piece of software, it's actually Google Documents. So here it is. I'm just going to copy it, so I'll select all of it and copy it. And I want to paste it into a text box, so I'm going to actually drag a text box. Now if I click and drag, you'll see it's just dragging a rectangle, which is uh, where I want to start, and I'll let go and uh, it's justified from the right, I want it justified from the left. The difference between that and just clicking means uh, um, enables us to actually limit where the text starts and stops. So if we have a paragraph, a uh, longer piece of text, um, it'll, as though we were working in Word, um, we don't want it to run off the page. In Illustrator we want to be able to confine it to a certain amount of space. So I'm going to paste my text in there so you can see what happens. Now there's more text than there is space for the text and it's indicated, um, that's indicated uh, by this little uh, red box. So what I'm going to do now is drag the box down and you'll see the text is just appearing. And as soon as I run out of text, um, sorry, I'll move that up, and I can drag it out this way as well, and as soon as there's enough space we don't get a red box. What we can also do is create a second text box over here. And if we click, oops, not like that, on the red box, it enables us to link the red box onto another one. So you'll see um, not the red box, sorry, continue the text into another text box. And you'll see that the text is just continued in this second text box. So we could do two paragraphs. It gives you so much control over how, you'll see if I pull that one down, there's less text in there. It gives us complete control of how we want to format um, our uh, panel. Okay. Now, a little bit more information. Well, what, what I want to do to start off with is have a rather unique shape for my um, text boxes. So what I'm going to do is um, try rotating it. If I just rotate it using, um, now this is rotating a text box, if I rotate it using the transform command you'll see the text stays horizontal and it just tries to find its location. It tries to um, fit itself as best it can, maintaining a horizontal orientation for us to read within a uh, path that is more like a diamond shape. So there's the path there. So similarly, you're probably thinking, wait, if that's the case, there's probably a whole lot more you can do with this path just by using the path edit tools. That's right. Get the direct selection box, sorry, direct selection tool. Try grabbing a point and dragging it and you'll see we can create some really crazy shapes. Of course this might make it rather hard to read but it sure does look fancy. Okay, there's a few more resources and one little trick I'll show you. Um, you can see I've settled on a path for my text box that enables me to have the text uh, move itself cleverly around my uh, section. If I click on that you'll see how I did that. I just used the add anchor point tool which is a part of the pen drop down uh, tab and then I used the direct selection tool to move those however I wanted. So. For example, click on that point. Oh, didn't have the direct selection tool selected. Uh, there it is. Grab that point, and we saw that before. So, what I'm going to do now is show you a few resources. If I click on the text and go up to type, 
you'll see we have all the options to change the case, create outlines, really do anything you could possibly do in any other word editing or graphics program. Um, obviously type is an extremely important part of graphic design so bear in mind you can do anything, there's always a way to do it. Um, and if I go down to, if I go to the edit menu and then go down to, where is it, check spelling, we have a spell checker. So we can start and it immediately starts picking things up like the lack of capitals at the beginning of sentences. You can choose to ignore that, change it and uh, apply rules. Okay, there's one last thing I'll show you, nice little trick. Um, apply this in your presentation and it'll certainly get a comment or two. Um, and that is to go up to the warp um, envelope tool. So we can make it with a warp or with a mesh. I'm going to use the mesh. Um, might explain more about this in the advanced section, but if I get my direct selection tool you'll see a mesh has been generated that allows me to distort the text. Now careful if, if you do decide to do this because it makes the text rather uneditable afterwards. Um, so make sure you have a copy, and this isn't your only copy. There we go, just a few things like that. And uh, it certainly makes it look rather strange. But you can use it to add emphasis to your text or just uh, for graphic effects. I'll zoom in so you can see how I did that. I was just using the direct selection tool and grabbing control points to do that. Okay.